Well, with the ratification of the Bluetooth low energy standard, real life applications of the technology are now starting to appear. Medical and healthcare is one of the hot topic areas. And Walter Balfour of MedApps is going to talk to us about an interesting piece of equipment using Bluetooth technology. Walter. Thank you, Vince. Um, actually, MedApps has developed a remote patient monitoring system that uh, collects biometric readings from Bluetooth-enabled devices like this pulse oximeter. If you give me your index finger here, I'll put that on there. What this actually measures is your blood oxygenation level and your pulse. We'll collect that information via a Bluetooth connection, and then after uh, three minutes without the, with the patient not collecting any additional readings, we'll actually connect to a standard cell phone network, either a CDMA connection or a GSM connection, and transfer that information up to our back-end system that allows the care provider, a doctor, a nurse, or any other care professional, to be able to log in and see that information in near real time. Okay, and is this futures we're looking at here, or is this real and now? Is this equipment available This is available real right today? now. We have about uh, 400 systems in the field right now. Uh, we have two major uh, pilot programs running right now. One of them is with Microsoft at Cleveland Clinic in Ohio. Okay. And we are taking that information that we collect and we transfer that information through to the personal health record service, Microsoft Health Vault. And how are the healthcare community taking to this type of equipment? There were some concerns in the early days about the use of wireless technology in hospitals and doctor surgeries and so on. Absolutely, and one of the things that we really tried to concentrate on was the patient privacy. What we've done is we've made the device completely unidentifiable, so there's no patient information that's actually stored on the device, but simply data with the serial number that goes through. If somebody got a hold of that information, it would be relatively useless. So it's very interesting to see this technology being used and rolled out this way. I'd like to thank you very much for talking to us today, Walter, and wish you the very best of luck in the product. Thank you, Vince.